Mary J. Blige is an American singer, songwriter, rapper, actor, and probably other things as well. Um, she's a bit of the soul R&B hip-hop cliche with massive success coupled with a turbulent personal life. Uh, she is credited with popularising a particular mix of hip-hop and R&B, um, and Billboard magazine ranked her as the most successful female R&B slash hip-hop artist of the past 25 years. Hi, my name's Dan, um, and uh, I'm going to tell you now that uh, I wasn't a huge fan of this album. I'm telling you now because uh, if you are a huge fan of this album, I'd like you to bottle up your anger and rage that you feel against me for not loving your album or one of your favourite albums, and stick it in the comments down below because I'd love to hear what it is that other people like about this so I, I will be talking about the stuff that I do like. I'll be talking about the stuff that I don't like on this album. That's what a review is for. Um, also, subscribe, please. That would be nice. Uh, so this was Mary J. Blige's fourth album. Um, and I would describe it as being mostly soul. I, was, I am not the only person to have thought that. There were critics who compared this with particularly with 70s soul, um, and I would say there's some truth in that. It kind of reminded me musically of stuff like Marvin Gaye and uh, other guys of that ilk from the 1970s, um, uh, but with a hip-hop edge at times, I would say. And there are tracks on which samples are used, but the overall feel is definitely this kind of soul feel. Um, the uh, the subject matter is mostly relationshipy kind of stuff. Um, the stuff about ooh how much I love you and ooh how much you've done me wrong and things like that. Um, there are some songs that aren't. Uh, so thematically, I think probably my favourite song was Deep Inside, which is a song about uh, how people see you as a celebrity when you're a celebrity and maybe they should see you as a person. Um, and it was an interesting take on that. Um, there's a song called Time, which is a kind of social consciousness uh, uh, type song. I was less impressed with that as a song, a bit really because I felt like this was a, a subject matter that's kind of been, you know, it's warmed up, it's been done over and over again. Um, in terms of the relationship stuff, Your Child was uh, a bit different. It was uh, you know, a take on somebody saying about having met another woman who has had a child by their uh, partner. So, yeah, interesting thing. Um, without a doubt, for me, musically the best song was As, which is A, a duet with George Michael and... Um, I quite like George Michael singing, and B, uh, written by Stevie Wonder. It's actually a great song. I love it as a song. Um, and it's not a bad version of it. There's also um, oh, there's several guests come in in various places. Don't Waste Your Time has got a guest with Aretha Franklin. And I love Aretha Franklin. She's brilliant. Um, unfortunately, some of these guests kind of bring out what I think is one of my gripes about this album, which is I think, in my opinion, that Mary is somewhat vocally challenged by this material. She's not up to the same kind of uh, standard as either George Michael or Aretha Franklin, to be honest. Um, I know she's been hugely successful. I felt like there were definitely times when it sounded like she was being pushed a little bit outside her comfort zone in terms of the her ability to do the runs and hit the notes. Um, this kind of music has often got a lot of kind of twiddly ornamentation in the singing. And there was some songs where I actually felt like she wasn't hitting the notes, actually spot on at all. Particularly the, se the second song on the album, Sexy, was one that I felt like, ooh, she's not quite getting there. Um, musically, 
as I said, I liked ours. There are some other tracks that are uh, reasonably okay, but the general feel is uh, it's is a bit kind of this. I'm not a fan of modern soul. I have to say, and maybe it's just because I've not yet found where the glorious wonderfulness of it is. Um, but to me, it feels a bit blah. Um, I'm afraid there are some tracks where it felt a bit better than that. I get a little bit hung up on drum sounds in soul music because sometimes they feel kind of really weedy and tinny and um, and actually drumming itself just feels soulless. And um, for me, uh, compared with, if you kind of listen back to 1960s Aretha Franklin and uh, a lot of the Motown stuff from that era, I feel like soul lost its soul through the 70s. Um, so it probably moved. It probably moved in the direction where people other than me have things that they appreciate about it, uh, but it's not a style I resonate with. So I struggled to push myself to listen through twice. Um, there were a few songs that I ended up listening to several times because I ended up restarting a few times, but we got there. I'm not a huge fan. That's it from me for now. wonder is it cash they see when they look at me cause they're looking for a ride that's free so i made the choice to be good to those who are good to me 